Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with Blind Bag Bonanza featuring ma 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 ma. It's Jurassic World Blind Bags. Have you seen the movie? I have. I laughed, I cried, and I learned to never under any circumstance accept babysitting your boss's nephews. If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm referring to. So I scooped up five of these. It would be uncanny if these five contained the Raptor Force, Charlie, Echo, Delta, Blue, and Star-Lord, man. If those are even in this series. And I say that because taking a closer look, you can see we have a host of dinos on the front, but on the reverse, we just have warning, attention, octong, and various other translations of the word warning in languages that I won't even begin to butcher. So as to just what dinosaurs are available, I guess we're gonna have to open this up to find out. And of course, to do that, I'll be requiring the services of Mr. Snippity Snip, Speak of the Devil and the Devil Shall Appear. Hey, Mr. Snippity Snip, have you seen Jurassic World yet? No. Oh, well. Oh, and by the way, do you mind babysitting my nephews when we're done with shooting this? Sure. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. So before I pull the toy out of here, let's see if there's maybe a leaflet showing us what are available. Is this just legal nonsense? Yep. Okay, we are going into this completely blind. This, to me, imprisoned in this cardboard, looks like a T-Rex. That's pretty awesome. Pretty minimal deco on him, the yellow of his underbelly, the black of his eyes would be nice at least if they could have painted the teeth right. He's got the JW impression on his hip there, the mark of official Jurassic World merchandise. Does he stand? Yeah, he does. I'm kind of amazed we don't know what options are available to us here. I'm used to crossing my fingers for something out of the range and either blessing or cursing Lady Luck. But here for the first time on Blind Bag Bonanza, we're going in completely blind. Even though they didn't show the different kinds of dinosaurs on the back, I at least expected to get a leaflet inside. But as soon as I saw these Jurassic World blind bags in my local Asda, I knew that this T-Rex was one I wanted. And with the others, I did try and give them a bit of a caress to see if they were different sized ones. So hopefully we won't be doubling up here. There's only one way to make sure of that though. That's to move old T-Rex to the side, bring back Mr. Snippity Snip, and let's open our next bag. Yeah, that's still just the legal mumbo jumbo there. And it's a Triceratops. Let's maybe bring back the T-Rex, get a bit of a comparison. That's one chunky Triceratops, isn't it? He should join the police academy and then he'd be Triceracop. Ha, ah, thumbs up if you've seen Kung Fury. Taking a closer look at him, he has some darker shading down his back, and then his eyes are painted yellow. I'm trying to remember if Triceratops were even in Jurassic World. I think maybe little kids were riding them in like a petting zoo. But no doubt raptors were in the flipping movie, so maybe this one contains a raptor. Let's find out. It's a... Oh no, without a list, not only do I not know what options are available, I don't know what their names are. T-Rexes and Triceratops are pretty high up on the popular list of dinosaurs. This guy, is it called an... What's it say on the bottom? Nope, that's just Hasbro blurb. I want to say it's called something like an Ankylosaurus or something? I guess if I have any budding paleontologists watching, let me know in the comments below what this guy's called. Got a nice hard back to stop the T-Rex from chewing on him. And while he's attempting that, I guess he's gonna swiftly psh, knock him in the head with his hard tail. So that just leaves us with two. This one's quite skinny, this one's chunky. Which one shall I open first? Let's go for the chunky one first. Move out the way, dinos. And is it another T-Rex? Thinking, oh no. Let's move his 
rubber band and then remove him from his cardboard prison. That's a Spinosaurus. Which if I remember correctly they introduced in the third movie to be more badass than T-Rexes except you know they weren't. Got some black deco down his back for scaly pattern and that's about it with him. Does he stand? Oh wow he does. I was initially questioning their imprisonment in these cardboard triangles. I guess that might be to stop their legs getting warped in the packaging. And now down to our very last one. I did kind of want that swimming dinosaur, but that one was huge. Meanwhile, this one in the blind bag is tiny. I'm guessing it's a raptor. We'll see. No, it's a pterodactyl. Got some green deco on his head there. Either that or maybe a pterodactyl from the flock above has shat on his head. And I guess with this being a pterodactyl, Mr. Snippity Snip, when you're with my nephews, watch out, just saying. So here's my assemblage of dinosaurs. Pretty pleased to have a T-Rex. I mean, dinosaurs don't get any more iconic than that, do they? But I guess the signature dinosaur of Jurassic World was the Abominable Rex, or whatever they called that Frankensteinosaurus. But then I don't even know if that was available in this series, because Hasbro, you didn't include any flipping literature notifying me. Way to go to encourage me to collect them all right because for all I know I've got them all here so please if you're watching this as a veteran of opening a Jurassic World blind bag and got any different dinos to the ones I got do Hasbro's job for them and let me know in the comments below just which ones you got anyway click the video on the right for the previous episode of blind bag bonanza and I sure would appreciate it if you could give this video a big thumbs up subscribe for more and I hope to see you next time mm, bye